Gentlemen, Tokyo. the victory ceremony for the cross country skiing women's 7.5 km middle. with the standing. Standing. But moving on to the women's 7.5 k now. The one Canadian on the podium for the men's, two in the women's, in first and third. Natalie Wilkie and Emily Young, respectively. Now, for Emily Young, it looked all but set that she was going to get silver. Or agonizingly being pipped to it by a tenth of a second by a neutral Paralympic athlete Ekaterina Rudomyanseva, who was also the last to finish as her classification is the lowest, meaning she has the most severe physical impairment. And that meant it was an anxious wait for Emily Young to see whether she'd got silver or not and she had just been pipped to it and it really was by the finest of margins please welcome the medalists I'm sure that smile will be out though uh, she gets the roar from the canadian crowd Natalie Wilkie, though, with the gold, just 17 years of age. It's really re remarkable from her, her second medal of the week after bronze in the sprint. And usually you say when you've got a 17-year-old on your hands that it's one for the future. But Natalie Wilkie is competing in the present, and she is winning in the present as well on the biggest stage in Paris sport. The medals will be presented by Ms. Kirsty Duncan, Minister of Sport and Persons with Disabilities, Canada. Well, fitting Duncan, that it's a Canadian Canada dignitary handing out the medals here. Accompanied by Ms. Youngju Kim, Minister of Employment and Labour. Kim Youngju, Goyongnodongbu Changwanimida. Bronze medalist representing Canada. Gold medal, Canada. Emily Young. Well, it was her fifth stab at it of the week to get to this point, and she has got that. Fifth in the women's 15K, fourth in the sprint, but she's finally met her match in the medal with a seven and a half K and she got on the podium with bronze. In her first Paralympic Games. And only her second major international medal after picking up bronze the 4 by 25 k relay at the World Championships in 2017, but this medal is all hers, and earned all by her. And she is part of Silver this Canadian 1-3. And the athlete. one disrupting a potential Unidai. Canadian 1-2 is the Paralympic neutral Paralympic athlete, Ekaterina Rumiansaeva, who is very decorated indeed. Just from this week alone, she has three gold medals next to her name, Two silvers now as well. It does tend to favour the longer distances. The gold medalist from the 15k. The worst performance of the week came in the sprint. Silver medal for her. And she's one of the many Gold athletes that have been at these games. Of, you need to worry if the suitcase is big enough for all the medals on the way home. Canada! Kumbadai! Paralympic champion! Well, Canada. Natalie Wilkie is going to have to invest Natalie in. Wilkie! What a big battle piece in the not too distant future, in her future follows the path it looks set to take. The 17-year-old 
second medal of the week, her first ever Paralympic gold. After the bronze in the sprint, gold in the medal distance. As soon as she gets home, I'm sure she'll have eyes firmly fixed on Beijing 2022. But she'll enjoy this goal first. Ladies and gentlemen, the anthem of Canada. 여러분, Canada의 국가 연주가 있겠습니다. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paralympic medalists. 여러분, Paralympic medalists입니다. Well, a strong week for Canada here at Pyeongchang 2018, which you'd perhaps expect. But the encouraging part, if you are of a Canadian persuasion, is that the future is bright as well as the present. Contingent of Maple Leaves. And they've had to make twice as much noise there for two of their own medalists. Natalie Wilkie Gold, Emily Young Bronze, 